Python 3.14 is finally here, and in this video, I'll show you the features that'll actually help you in your day-to-day -day coding. But first, a quick reminder. Python 3.13 introduced the free threaded mode, but it was experimental back then. In 3.14, it's more polished, faster, and production ready. We'll get to that in a bit. So far, we've mostly relied on f-strings. They're fast and readable, but when the input comes from users, there's always a risk of code injection. With Python 3.14, we now have template strings, which provide a safer way to format user input. Here's a real-world example. Imagine you're building a feedback system where users submit their name and issue, and you need to send them a confirmation message. This approach is safe because user input can't be used for code injection. You can use this in user-facing text, email templates, or report messages. Basically, anywhere you deal with external data. Next, type hints make your code clean and maintainable. But in large projects, they can cause circular import issues and slow performance. In Python 3.14, annotations are now evaluated lazily, meaning they're only processed when needed. That gives you three big advantages. No more circular import errors, lower runtime overhead, and better type introspection. And the new annotation lib module lets you inspect or wrap annotations safely. This prints the type hints as strings, without crashing due to missing imports. For large-scale code bases, this is a huge win. Now, this is probably the most exciting part for developers. Python 3.13 started it, making the GIL optional, but 3.14 takes it to the next level. Here's what's new. The single-threaded performance penalty is now only about 5 to 10%, depending on your platform. C extension modules now work with the free-threaded build. You just compile with PyJill disabled. New flags like context-aware warnings and thread-inherit context make multi-threaded code safer and more predictable. Here's a real-world example. Imagine a web scraping scenario. Before this, the GIL forced threads to run sequentially. Now, with free-threaded mode, threads can actually run in parallel, especially if your workload mixes I.O. and CPU tasks. That's a real performance boost you'll notice in production. Next, a small but beautiful improvement. Earlier, if you wanted to catch multiple exceptions, you had to use parentheses. In Python 3.14, you can now write it directly. Now, it's cleaner, more readable, and just a little less clutter in your code. Next, Z-Standard Compression. Z-Standard is a modern, super-fast compression algorithm. Earlier, you had to install a third-party library to use it. Now it's built right into Python 3.14, available via compression.zstd. Perfect for logs, caching, data pipelines, or any place you need to save bandwidth or storage. See, it's simple, clean, and dependency-free. This is going to be your go-to compression tool for many real-world applications. So yeah, these are the Python 3.14 features you'll actually use every day. From safer strings to faster threads and built-in compression. This update's all about developer productivity. Now tell me, which feature did you try or gonna try? Drop it in the comments, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.